Bespin Raptor writes, hey, Collider Crew, I'm a big name. fan and watch most of your shows every day. My question is, at what point is a spoiler no longer a spoiler? If I were to say that Darth Vader is Luke's father, no one would care. But if I were to mention the ending of a movie currently in theaters or just released on DVD slash Blu-ray, many people would consider it to be too soon. So how long should someone wait before they start talking about all aspects of a movie and not being worried about spoiling it for people? Thanks and keep up the great videos. Yeah, I got to admit, I'm, I, you've heard me say this before. I, I, th I think the issue of spoilers is so overblown. It's like if I hear that, what's his name, makes a cameo appearance in that movie, that ruins the movie for me. Really? That movie's based on a book that 25 million people read and they all saw the movie knowing everything that happens and it didn't affect their enjoyment of the movie whatsoever. So give me a break. Now, I, there's a difference though between, uh, the, the word spoiler is used really liberally, like right. really liberally. So like you can say, hey, at some point in, uh, in the new Superman movie, Superman puts on a black cape. <gasps> spoiler! <laughs> see, that's, see, they'll put that on the same level as, say, The Sixth Sense, which I won't say what the big spoiler is in The Sixth Sense, but you know, in Sixth Sense, and all of you who have watched the movie know what we're talking about, the spoiler in Sixth Sense is something that fundamentally and radically alters your entire perception of the film. And so many people put that on the same level as, oh, there's a car chase scene in the third act. What? Spoiler! Yeah, yeah, and it's like, yeah. it's a, what? Give me a break. So my basic rule of thumb of this is a, of spoilers is this. Look, if you're hanging out on movie discussion shows or you visit movie websites or go to movie chat forums or whatever, stuff like that, you don't want to go revealing everything about movie right off the top. And look, on this show too, we, we're so free-flowing with our discussions, sometimes we let spoilers slip out. We don't mean to, but sometimes they do. But my rule of thumb is this. At some point... A movie has to become fair game for open discussion at some point. My personal rule of thumb is this. Once a movie has had its full theatrical run, like it was in, its, in the theaters and it's completed its full run, it's not in theaters anymore, and then it comes out on home video and has been out on home video for four, five, six, seven months, I'm sorry. If you were so interested in that movie that hearing that... Robert Downey Jr. makes a cameo near the end is going to ruin your experience, you would have watched the movie by now. So at some point, I believe, open discussions. Now, there are things like Usual Suspects, The Sixth Sense, that once again have those fundamentally reality, um, conceptualizing, changing events in a movie that totally changes your perception of an entire movie based on that one spoiler. I get those. Those are a separate thing altogether. But as far as these... Little things, oh, this guy appears in this movie. What, blah, blah, blah. A certain character doesn't live. What, uh, uh, spoiler. At some point, it's got to be open fields for discussion. And I, my personal feeling, full theatrical run, four or five, six months after it's been on home video. At that point, if you really wanted to see it, you could have seen it by now. So that's my thought. Anyway, Schnepp, what is your thought on the whole spoiler thing? Well, um, particularly like online, the kind of uh, movie discussion shows that we do, if it's, a, if it's, it's you know, we're going to go into spoilers and we t say we're going to go into spoilers, it's up to you to tune out and not be watching it because we're going to go into spoilers. We just said we are. Sometimes we do say oh, something, that, you know, oh, you know, that goes a little beyond giving away a story issue or a story point. And I agree with you. It's like if the movie's out, if it's, you know, brand new, like Ant-Man, you don't want to go ahead and give away too much stuff that happens to the characters of Ant-Man, even if you're doing a review, there's ways to review the film without <laughs> giving away specific story or plot points. I remember one of my big you know, uh, things that irked me was when I would read a, a critic or a movie reviewer, and they would just kind of give you the story beat by beat. I'm like, dude, I don't need you to explain the story to me. I would like you to, with words, tell me what, what was good and bad about it without just rehashing the story points. That's a bad critic to me. Um, so we try to not do that. We never really even talk really about the story. We talk about the acting and, you know, what, yeah. you know, th so it's, it, that's the way to do it. I mean, spoilers like, you know, Darth Vader being Luke's dad, you know, that's been around for years. So, and it, it, the prequels ruined that for you without even us ever having to say anything. Look, it's young Darth <laughs> Vader. The prequels ruined it. It's, he's a Skywalker. So it's sort of like <laughs> certain things like that. You can talk about Jaws. You could talk about movies that are 40 years old and, you know, to me, I'm like, look, if you're watching a movie show, and we start talking about Jaws and we get into some spoiler territory of Jaws, I don't really feel that bad because it's a movie that's 40 years old. You should definitely see that film, you know, or you, if it's not on your list and we do give you a spoiler, it's not like we're ruining the entire movie. For me, spoilers don't ruin the movie. 
The only thing that could possibly ruin a movie for me completely is if somebody's like, this happened at the very end, they, and they go into a full description of a sh you know scene by scene a scenario. conclusion of the story. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's where I think people get a little too weird about, like, yeah, you, yeah, you can't believe he mentioned that Batman is blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, they get just too weird about little nuggets of a storyline that's part of the movie. And that, to me, is not really a spoiler. So it is that. Christian? I'm on the same page with some... I, I, like, for me, I think that with, with spoilers, w like you said, Schnepp, if there's a warning, if we're talking about it, and we go, okay, look, guys, uh, we're going to talk about something here. Spoiler alert. Fast fast forward. Come back. We'll do like a wave of the hands. Yeah. And you come back, and you know it's done. I like to do that because I just had, for television, Sons of Anarchy ruined for me. Oh, no. um, and it was on the air. And I and and look, I haven't had it's been out for a little bit, but I haven't had a chance to watch it. I'm watching movies. I've had right. other things that I've been doing. I haven't had a chance. I'm going to, yep. but it was ruined for me, and there was no warning or anything too. And it did piss me off. But and the other thing too, even the movie like Jaws, for us, yeah, it's 40 years old. But there might be some kid who's brand new, trying to get into, you know, who's watching, he's trying to learn all these new movies and watching the show to learn all these new movies. Maybe he didn't, he or she didn't know about. Right. And then we spoil it for them. That sucks a bit. But I think that if, but if it's like you said, okay, look, maybe someone who hasn't seen The Sixth Sense or Jaws, we're going to talk about something real quick. If you haven't, if there's a chance, if you haven't seen these movies, come back, you know, and then we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit. I think that warnings, no matter what, because I'll never forget, I was reading Entertainment Weekly back when Harry Potter was still going on and it was, it, and Azkaban had just come out. And the Entertainment Weekly ruined something big that happened in the next book, oh. and I was pissed because I I didn't I made sure that I didn't <laughs> read the, those books yet because I didn't want to get spoiled. There are some people who absolutely like Hunger Games. I know what's going to happen. I read it. I made that choice. You're absolutely right. But sometimes you might not want to read those books because you don't want to be spoiled. So I think that as long as you're telling people and as long as there's if if you're reading an article and they say spoilers, I agree with you. I hate when critics just. No, I've seen it, and if you haven't seen it, I'm ruining it for you. Right. Give me a warning. Big cap, spoiler, dot, dot, dot. Okay, gave you the warning. Now you're, you're choosing to read ahead. You give the, the viewer or the reader a chance. But then you get into these, these semantic discussions within what constitutes a spoiler. Sure. Like, at, at what point is something a spoiler, and what something is just a trivial detail about the movie right. that, right. that doesn't alter one's point. So People do um, get touchy on uh, with oh, minimal things. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a good example. Really like the, that, this was in the Ant-Man commercials that every single one of you, even if you haven't seen the movie, and you watched a trailer or a commercial, you would have seen the Falcon in those commercials. Right. But we knew, oh, like earlier, like, oh, the Falcon's going to show up. If we talked about that, we, that would be a, technically a spoiler because that before, the, before he was revealed to be in those trailers, you didn't know the Falcon was going to ever make an appearance or the Avengers or anything like that were going to be in Ant-Man. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, but once again, that becomes a situation that if you saw Ant-Man, you know Falcon appearing in the movie was just like, a side thing yeah, that had didn't nothing alter to do with the, the right. course yeah, of the movie right. or anything like that. 